In this problem, we're told the force on a particle of mass m is given by f equals 26i minus 12t squared j, where f is in newtons and t is in seconds. What will be the change in the particle's momentum between t equals one second and t equals two seconds? So in order to solve this problem, what you need to know is that the change in momentum is gonna be the integral of the force. So we're trying to find the change in the particle's momentum, right? And so we can do that by just by taking the integral of the force. So essentially, uh, the change in momentum right, is going to be equal to the integral of f dt. So this is the formula we're going to use in order to solve this. So let's go ahead and write down what f is. So we know f is going to be 26i minus 12t squared j. Right. So this is going to be our f. So essentially what we have to do is just take the integral of this. But keep in mind we have a range. And so the range of this is just going to be the time interval. And so keep in mind they tell us it's from one second to two seconds. So A is going to be equal to 1, and then B is going to be equal to 2. So if we go ahead and solve this, it's going to be the integral from A, which is 1, to 2, because we're going from 1 to 2 seconds, of F, which is 26i minus 12t squared j times dt. So if we go ahead and take the integral of this, right, or the, let's find the antiderivative first and then plug in, it's going to be 26ti right, because the inner or antiderivative of 26 is 26t, and then if we take the antiderivative of minus 12t squared, uh, it's going to become t cubed, because we add one, and then divide by that. So 4t cubed uh, j, and we're evaluating it from 1 to 2. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's first just plug in the numbers. So it's going to be equal to plugging in 2 first, and then we're going to get a value, subtract uh, whatever 1 plugged in is. So if we plug in 2, uh, you're going to get 26 times 2i minus 4 times 2 cubed j, right? So this essentially is just going to be 52i minus 2 cubed is 8. This is going to be 32j, right? So that's going to be our value here, and then we minus whatever 1 plugged in is. If we plug in 1, we're going to get that it equals 26, right? We're just minusing 26 times 1i minus 4 times 1 cubed j. So 26 times 1 is just 26. So 26i minus 1 cubed is 1 times 4 is 4, so 4j. So 52i minus 26i is just 26i. Uh, and then minus 32. So keep in mind, uh, this is minus, I wrote this a bit wrong. So this is minus, I forgot the parentheses. So minus 26i right, this is going to become a plus. So minus 32 plus 4 is just going to become uh, minus 28. So 26i minus 28j, right? And then keep in mind when you take the integral of this, momentum we measure it in uh, kilogram meters per second squared, or meters per second. So your answer to this problem is just going to be 26i had minus 28j had uh, kilogram meters per second. And so this right here is your answer. And so yeah, hopefully you found this useful.